Hey, Jamie Myers here, Laid Laws Harley-Davidson. Uh, I just wanted to share with you guys my uh, latest build. Went from the Heritage to a, a Roadster now, and <laughs> I'll tell you the reasoning behind that. Uh, of course, I do have a motorcycle addiction, so you'll see me bounce around quite a bit with bikes. Um, so basically, I went to this bike um, from the Heritage in a big sense just to kind of, so I could have two bikes, you know, so I could go to a little bit of road racing. It's always been kind of a dream of mine to get out on the track and uh, you know turn laps on a road race circuit you know on a road race bike so um, you know I kind of did all the math and everything sold the heritage I was able to purchase my roadster do some stuff to it and also buy a used road race bike but uh, you know moving away from that you know the the heritage was awesome um, but as of right now all I'm doing is commuting to work back and forth and kind of staying busy with other types of riding you know whether it be off-road road racing mountain bike and stuff like that so at the moment, this fit the bill, you know, the price point and the performance and just the fun factor of it, too. The, the big thing we did to this bike was a Hammer Performance 1275 kit. Um, you know, so obviously it's going to up the displacement a bit to 1275 from the 1200. And I went with their HP 600 cam, so it's a six, 600 lift cam. Uh, it's still streetable. Uh, it's pretty aggressive. Uh, they believe they claim with this head, the head's uh, performance that they did for me, I believe it was their sledge kit, which runs you know, much bigger valves, um, capable of 8,000 RPM. Not that I would run it that high, it kind of signs off before that, but uh, you can run it through, it can run some high RPM. Um, I had the throttle body uh, ported and matched, and uh, roller rockers. So uh, it, it runs strong. You know, We're using the uh, you know, Screaming Eagle Performance Pro Tuner and the Auto Tuner. On top of that, the Screaming Eagle Auto Tuner. The, uh, you know, with the added power, you're going to create some more heat. So I did put the oil cooler on here, uh, the Screaming Eagle oil cooler. I'm a big fan of running these. A you know, little extra capacity and definitely more cooling. As most of us know, um, you know, I did void, you know, the factory warranty stuff by running the Hammer Performance Kit. Um, I, you know, myself, I believe in this powertrain enough to where, you know, you can run, you know, a reputable performance kit and have really good luck with it. They have a good reputation. Uh, they make quality products. So I figured I would give it a try. Um, it's always going to be a gamble. You know, lucky, luckily enough, if something happens, obviously I'm lucky enough to have the means to, to fix it. But uh, for the average person, it's something you want to consider, you know, if you're going to go outside of the box. Um, in truth, the, the Screaming Eagle Stage 4 kit for these bikes actually runs really strong. I think most people would be really happy with it. Um, but I wanted to try something different, you know, just to see what it would do and what it's all about. And it is impressive. It does run really well. You know, powder coated a few items here, you know, did the handlebars, you know, just kind of did the black thing, blacked it out a little bit. Um, you know, did the Cobra intake, Cobra El Diablo exhaust system. I routed the external breather. Uh, there's a little catch can down here so that we're not recycling all of that you know, breather material into the engine. Um, it's supposed to be good for a little performance um, and also just runs a little cleaner in the engine. Um, obviously went with the Cobra El Diablo 2 into 1. Uh, runs real good, sounds good. Then uh, Joker Machine pulley cover. Also did the Joker Machine foot pegs as well. I did find that I didn't have a lot of traction for my feet on that, so I actually installed a few little set screws there, you know, just to give myself a little more grip on that. But they do provide more uh, cornering clearance as well. I noticed that the uh, stock pegs would scrape pretty easily. And then, uh, you know, moving to the back here, 
Did some Owens Reservoir shocks. They have the adjustable compression and rebound. And of course, uh, you know, the spring tension as well, you can adjust, so. Uh, they do perform quite a bit better. The stock ones are pretty good, but for my weight, I'm kind of a lightweight, so I needed something with a little lighter spring and more adjustability. Yeah. Basically for commuting and highway speeds, you know, I'm small enough, so all I need is a small little windshield. This thing actually works great for me at my size. Somebody bigger, maybe not as well. But uh, this is made by National Cycle, and this would be their Mohawk, I believe they call it. And it's kind of a universal fit. You know, it, it is made for the Sportsters, but it'll fit a range of bikes, and it comes with different attachments so that you can tailor it to your, uh, to your bike. But other than that, this bike is pretty much, you know, haven't done too much. A little bit of powder coating to the turn signals and the handlebars, the stock handlebars. And um, other than that, there's you know, not much else to it. It does run really strong and it's, it's a blast to ride.
bad news, bud. What? Mike is gone. Oh, uh, oh well.